Stillwater woman tells two news. She is angry after getting a knock on her door by FBI agents asking about her social media post. Two News Oklahoma Samson Tamajani shows us the video making waves online and why advocates feel she was targeted because of her religion and her political stance. So it's kind of weird that you want to come talk to me about me exercising my freedom of speech. We do this every day, all day long, and talk to people. Political lecturer and Stillwater resident Rola Abdul Jawad says these three people in plain clothes presented themselves as FBI agents at her home March 19th. She refuses to answer questions without her lawyer and repeatedly asks to see their badges until they leave moments later. Are you going to show me your credentials or no? Yeah, we did already. So, and we identified ourselves. So, what we'd like to do? I is didn't look at your credentials them. again. Well, I we... didn't verify them. The alleged agents say Facebook sent them screenshots like these, in which Abdul Jawad's public account takes aim at the Israeli and American governments for the war in Gaza and the thousands of dead civilians. Speaking on camera for the first time since the incident, Abdul Jawad says her posts are simply her exercising her First Amendment rights. If you look at the posts in context, it's prayer. Their prayers against the evildoers. 13,500 children estimated at the low have been murdered. But your posts are not in any uh, way an endorsement of any particular terrorist group or, or No, of course action? not. No, of course not. No. Terrorism is not permissible in Islam. Without confirmation to Two News, the Oklahoma chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations says it was told by the FBI the agents seen in the video were from its Oklahoma City branch. A statement from the group reads in part, quote, we believe there are better ways the FBI can go about conducting its business, which would not include showing up to a person's place of residence or employment and pressuring them into answering questions. Abdul Jawad's lawyer Hassan Shibli says incidences like this one are not uncommon for Muslims who are vocal online. But what I'm seeing right now as a positive step forward is Americans are uniting against this. You know, I'm ha seeing conservatives, liberals, Muslims, Christians, everyone united together saying, listen, if any of us lose our rights, we all lose our rights. Abdul Jawad is from New York, but has two master's degrees from Oklahoma State and says Americans shouldn't be afraid to speak their mind about the war, no matter their views. We have a right to free speech. We have a right to not have our thoughts policed. Do not back down. Speak up. Speak justly. Speak truthfully and speak clearly. In Stillwater, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma. The FBI's Oklahoma City office tells 2 News it's currently working on an updated statement that's pending approval from its national headquarters. We'll be sure to share that statement once it's released.